in this module we will talk about gender order or gender dichotomy as something essential and from this we have got the term essentialism now let's see what it, what it is gender order or dichotomy is a result of gender ideology as we have discussed in the last module the dichotomy are sex oppositions now we are translating it into another term we have uh, talked about gender order that creates gender difference that is also called gender dichotomy and another term for this is gender opposition or sex opposition now these oppositions they are result of some gender ideology see how these things are interrelated with each other so how the oppositions are dichotomies are maintained in certain societies what type of oppositions they have like men are strong women are weak similarly men are brave women are coward timid diffident and uh, men are aggressive they can take initiative they can take practical steps and women are passive and uh, men are impassive they are not influenced by emotions they follow reason whereas women are emotional men are taken as rational and women irrational men are rough and tough and women are gentle polite and soft similarly even in height and size we say that men are taller than women on average this is a matter of statistics that they say that usually on average men are taller than women so here even in size and height men supremacy is established is maintained these oppositions if we see them they have positive view of males and a somewhat negative view of females a kind of difference so this difference develops images of males and females in our minds so this is the way the images are turned into ideologies and we don't question why these differences are found on what basis these differences are found what is their rationale nobody questions we just follow them so we conclude that gender ideology does not just prescribe male female difference rather it insists that there is a difference and this difference is essential this is called essentialism that was topic of this module